And the final prong of our strategy was coalition. Well, one, we're trying to change that language. I mean, it's reasonable, common-sense gun laws. It's everyone that uh, buys a firearm should go through a background check. That's important. Uh, assault weapons shouldn't be in the hands of people that are going to use it against the police and others. A lot of the crime guns here in New York uh, come from other states. A lot of the crime guns in Washington State and Seattle come from within our area. So they're bought locally and uh, obtained locally. So we have to look at it from a little different perspective than New York. But Mayor Bloomberg and Mayor Nichols in Seattle have been great leaders on this issue. Well, we certainly need to deal with this T-Hard Amendment, which people have talked about, which precludes law enforcement from sharing crime, gun, trace information. We need to be able to do that, and we're not allowed to right now. I think that uh, you've got to have action on all fronts, essentially. This is a difficult political issue. Uh, there's certainly reluctance from both parties to take it on. I think it's important for the voices of mayors and other local elected officials to be heard, not just uh, on the local level or in their state capitals, but also at the federal level. I think that uh, we're going to see action uh, on this issue by uh, elected officials working together on this, uh, changing laws locally, pressuring the federal government to make changes. For two years in a row, crime has been going up across the country. Thank heaven, not in New York City, which remains the safest big city in America. But I think as crime goes up across the country, I think that elected officials are going to have to come face to face uh, with the issue of illegal guns. Well, here's the thing. It's pretty clear that both of the major political parties this year and next year ha are not particularly interested in embracing the gun issue. They would rather talk about other, what they consider more pressing issues in the 2008 campaign, such as terrorism, the economy, the environment, and other issues. My argument is that the gun issue could be thrust upon them by the Supreme Court, depending on how the Supreme Court rules in the summer of 2008 on a gun rights case that's, that the Supreme Court has now agreed to hear. So uh, that one case could prompt uh, the issue to be a subject of great discussion in 2008 and could force the nominees of the Democratic and Republican Party to have to talk about the gun issue.